Hi Leos, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to see the personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. <laughs> I heard patience increase, so maybe you now have um, a in, no, an increase in patience, okay? So most important message for the sign of Leo, please and thank you. Maybe you've learned a lot along the way. You learn not to let certain things get to you. You're like, whatever it is, what it is. Message for the sign of Leo. Five of Wands. That's you with your energy. We have the judgment card. This could be you. Making a decision to battle, to battle without. Could be you just making some sort of decision there. But we do have confusion with the Seven of Cups or mixed emotions or needing to make a choice, right? The Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, which is clarity or truth. Acknowledging of some type of truth. Going back and forth at one point in time, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is something that you've been dealing with for a while. Or you put a lot of time, energy, money into or leading into long-term financial wealth. Uh, I need to get more. What's the five of wands? No, I don't. You were in the thick of something because I hear the thick of it. Um, you could have been battling it out, as I already said. Some type of type of battle, or you were competing with yourself to a certain extent, and you were unsure why you were going through it. Maybe you felt like you were, maybe you were judging yourself, or you were feeling like you were being judged. You could, it could be the some type of judgment energy going on because I've been seeing this card come out lately. Um, it could be, I don't know what source is doing up there. We could be being judged in the moment, not really knowing it. Uh. I want to get more so you've been unsure about why things has been going in a certain some type certain some type of way. What's the five of wands? Five of swords. So we have another five. Could have been a fight at all costs type of energy. I'm gonna say that term that I just heard again. The thick of it. You you were in the thick of something. We have the king of cups at the bottom of the deck. Had to learn how to control your emotions. Um stabilizing your emotions. Because I heard stabilizing. But um, now I'm hearing something about like the energy has to be stabilized. We're moving forward. But you had to be emotionally in control. The King of Cups, the Nine of Wands, energy right not to give up. To not give up. And then we have the Death card. It could have been a Scorpio involved. Sag. It could have been, could have been something or someone you didn't want to give up on. They didn't want to give up on you. I don't know. Let's see. What's the judgment card? The five of cups. So we do have three fives here. Someone else received this earlier this week. Aquarius. That is your, that's your opposite sign, Leo. So that makes sense, right? Something is going on with the stars and the moon, moon, cause I'm, I can't pinpoint it because you know, you all know I'm not the astrologer. Maybe in the future I would be or something like that, but I just feel like it is. Something is shifting, something is changing. I'm just not sure about what is changing right now. So, um, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, taking your time. But yet knowing what it is that you want to do or how to get things done in the motion, in the motion type of energy. Ten of swords being could have been betrayed or some type of hard time being over with the moon card. I need to get a little bit more again. What's the seven of cups for Leo? The nine of pentacles in reverse. So you feel like you're you don't um, a lack of value, I would say. 
like you don't value you feel like you're not valued or you feel like you something about your about yourself you're not valuing i'm I'm going to say value yourself more leo i don't know if this energy is being manifested or projected onto you especially with this ace of wands energy at the bottom of the deck but i'm gonna say it again be in control of your emotions and I also want to say that something will change or something is changing or something is trying to make you change. What the heck? Okay, we're going to keep it moving because I do want more. I want more. What's, can I get more of this nine of Pentacles energy in reverse? For Leo. Three of Swords came out in reverse. It was in, in reverse in the, another reading that I was in. And then we have the five of pentacles, like the rub energy. We have the ace of ace of pentacles. We have the tower card, the lovers card. Taking care of business. Um, some of you all feel like just because you something isn't working out with something or someone, you you all is uh, is all is tight. Some all is over or something. This is that what I'm reading? What's the advice here? You just be you. This is not going to be a long reading. I might even do another one for you all. Continue to be you. Something, some, someone trying to change you, or it's like, what's the sun card? Clarify the sun card as the advice. Leo, continue to mind your dang on business first and foremost, and work on whatever it is that you have a love and passion for. Because I do see the magician card at the bottom of the deck, but that could be you in the energy of manifesting and creating something. You have everything you need in order to do so. You just have to have the strength to overcome and uh, make things happen. Okay, continue to build because you love to do something here. However, you might be in your head, your head, and I think your emotions like. That's why I said something about being emotionally in control because I think I believe that being too far into your emotions could like throw you off track to feel like as if opportunities aren't there when they are there. So you have to be able to <sighs> some way raise your vibration in order to push through, in order to be able to open up to what source has to offer offer you. That's what I would say. Okay. Right before doing these readings, I didn't feel like doing these readings today. I didn't. But I said, okay, let me get these done because I know I had to finish getting some of these readings out. However, I feel better getting them done. And you all know that I even feel like I don't even get the support or whatever, but it's a passion towards what I do. That's why I continue to do what I do. Okay? So if you have a passion towards something that you do, don't allow outside forces to change you to manipulate you in some type of way form or fashion that's what i want to say you have to continue to value yourself even when you're like i'm not knowing i'm not sure what's going on especially if you're doing everything right like if you're not harming anyone else while you're doing something that you love to do continue to do what you love i would say so don't change that was the your advice so let me say let me do something else um what should leo be aware of I didn't even get to, sh the, to shuffle the deck, really. But we have the Page of Pentacles. Um, maybe be aware of someone's offer. That still would make sense. Kind of get more on this Page of Pentacles as to what Leo needs to be aware of. Too. Okay, not make it up. That would make so much sense. Be, be aware of someone trying to offer you something to control you. The Two of Pentacles energy. The Three of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. The high priestess and the eight, of, eight mean the eight of swords. You've been in your head, so like someone may be trying to associate your, themselves with you, or you associate with others who may keep you mentally entrapped and not being able to follow your intuition clearly. 
and have you a little bit emotionally um, out of whack. So, look, Leo, I'm going to leave this one here. And, yes, I am going to do another one for you all because it was pretty quick, pretty quick. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.